If you ever ask yourself how to draw a line in Unity, then this is the right tutorial for you because I will show it right now. So at first we create an empty directly in our scene and we will add a component called line renderer and this is a component which helps you to render a line. It looks a little bit strange because we didn't pick a color and it has already a color. Therefore we create a material. So this material is just blue and we will drag this material directly onto the line renderer and drop it into the material field. Now the line looks a little bit better, but it isn't really a line because it looks like a square. So uh, what we will have here are positions and these positions are um, the checkpoints of the line. So for example, if I set the Z to 10, now it looks more like a line. If I add uh, another point, it looks even more like a line. So what we can set here is a loop um, parameter. This will loop the line or a width. We can change the width. And we can uh, also change the width over the complete path. For example, here, if it should get thinner. Um, you should note that these, um, these graphs are only captured on the vertices, for example, here or here and um, it won't be affected anywhere around here. Uh, what we also can do is we can set the corner vertices to make it a little bit more rounder at the start or at the end. And um, the corner vertices is, is a point um, one to n minus one and the end cap vertices is a point zero and n. And I think this is all you need to know for a basic tutorial. So let's start and do something with the line um, renderer in a script. So I will reset my values, maybe to this one. And now let's start and uh, add a script to it. I will create the script, my script, create and add. Go to Visual Studio and we will have a look at the script. Uh, the first thing we always do is just make a um, property called line renderer or called line with the type of line renderer. And the first thing uh, on start is we get the component line renderer because then we can modify it in the script. So what we'll do now is just listen to the axis, for example, the a horizontal axis. If this is bigger than zero, then I want to change uh, the direction to um, x1 and z0. So if I want to change the direction, I should have a direction. So let's do something like a vector 3 a direction and a vector 3 position. So we will change the direction, x at, direction x equals x, and direction z equals z. So we update the direction. And we modify the position in every update. So position plus equals direction. Uh, we will add a factor of 2 and we will respect time. And now this looks a little bit better. Um, we should do it uh, for all the four possible entries for the direction uh, and modify the values accordingly. So the vertical axis, the horizontal axis and uh, one time bigger than zero and smaller than zero. One minus one, we will set the X to zero. And um, we have a problem uh, here because I don't want to change the direction every update uh, if I hold left or up or something like that. So I will introduce a new value uh, and this is a bool and called pressed. So if it's not pressed, then I want to change the direction and I want to say, okay, now you are pressed. 
So we need a second position where we reverse the, um, the press and this is here. Here I say pressed equals false. Now it's not pressed anymore. Um, I think this is pretty good, but we didn't do anything with the line renderer at all. We just uh, have a position that is uh, modified by our input. And therefore we, we uh, set a point uh, with set position. Um, here we can modify or insert some points. And uh, with line dot uh, position count, you get all the positions or the number of positions. We will subtract one from them. So we have the last position and we set the last position to the position. Um, what does the script do? Let's try it. As you can see, I can use the input and the second element, the first element, so the, the second point or position will be changed uh, with the script. So one thing, uh, one thing I want to uh, do is just add a new element as soon as I click. And you can add a new element to a line renderer by just increasing the position count and then uh, you set the position. So I will do the same as I do here. Just leave the old one as it is, add a new one and then update this. Maybe I don't even need this one. I just have to add a new position. I think that's enough. Um, let's make it a, a little bit faster. Uh, maybe speed five. And let's see what's happening. So I can go left, right, up and down. And the line renderer will render the line. To make it a little bit more fun, I will just uh, set the width to 1 and just add some values to the speed, for example 20. And then it's already something like snake. Um, you see the line renderer is behaving a little bit weird uh, on the edges or when we add a new point. Um, this is normal. This are, these are the flaws of the default line renderer of Unity. But um, maybe you have something in mind that you want to do, maybe a static line or something like that. Then this is a good option. So this is, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Um, please leave a comment uh, which thing you want to know in Unity and I will show it to you. And stay tuned.